So this is perfect at this point. So what happened is uh, it's ready to take the final shot, which is the 10th shot. But it's coming up to the meridian flip. So right now the mount's gonna flip. So this is kind of cool. We gotta check out the meridian flip and um, I'm just gonna let it run here and kind of just let it do its paces. Uh, and then I'll go back and edit the video just so it's a little faster uh, when we're watching it. But this is a good example of the capabilities of of the mount, right? I'm still inside. I've been sipping. Well, I should say I finished. How sad. I finished my scotch. Um, and it's uh, it's basically uh, gone through all nine uh, images. It's taken all nine images. It's going to take the tent here. It's coming up on the meridian flip, so it's going to flip. It's going to set up the re-guiding. It's going to set up the autofocus again, and then it's going to start doing that last uh, shot for for uh, for our final tenth image. So this is pretty slick. I mean, this is this is why I invested my money in the ASI Air. I know you can do it with a laptop. I know you can do it with a Nook. Um, you know, I know you can do it with all kinds of open source software and all kinds of you know a, a laptop and another power supply and all kinds of stuff. But I was really trying to go for simplicity. And to me, this is simple. I mean, I haven't had to do anything crazy tonight except screw around with my USB cable, which is old on that camera. It's an old used DSLR. When I bought it, it had over 9,000 exposures on it from another astrophotographer. So uh, these are the things that we're talking about. So uh, hopefully it'll flip and I won't run into issues with the USB cable, but we'll see what happens here. So it's doing the Meridian flip. Boom, target center. So now let's see what happens here. So now it's gonna do an automatic autofocus. And while the autofocus is happening in the background, it's gonna probably restart dithering. Um, so we'll see what happens here. It should hopefully restart the dithering process, or not dithering, excuse me, guiding. Okay, so. Looks like it's doing some calibrating here before it uh, shoots. So I, I remember I set it up so it's gonna do a full calibration of the mount and reset up guiding. So it's gonna take a minute to do this. Alright, so for some reason I went ahead and paused the video, uh, paused it right here. I'm not too sure. I must have some settings wrong, but it didn't um, re dither after it did the reconfiguration. So we'll just re click to find a star, open up our graft, and it looks like it's still doing the reconfiguration. So it didn't finish the configuration and it was just trying to shoot. So again, it's not absolutely perfect, but I'm still sitting inside my house and I'm relaxing, so it's not a big deal. We'll uh, let it finish here and we'll keep an eye on it. And I'm gonna jump in here real quick. So what we're seeing it doing, it's clearing its backlash and it's it's readjusting um, the guiding for the, the telescope and stuff. So it's trying to dial it in. So if you click on it here, you go to the info button, here it's, it's setting up the calibration data and you can do a clear on it. And if you ever do a clear on it, it'll automatically reset up and reconfigure the mount. So this is kind of important um, because again, if you're having issues with tracking, this is one way to, to, to fix it is to basically go in and clear the data out on it. And then what it'll do, it'll, it'll, it'll reconfigure the mount. Uh, so it'll start shooting properly. So um, I think we can just, back out of here and let it do its thing so all right so we are guiding again but we're not guiding great <laughs> so we'll give it a minute to settle down and then we'll take that last shot And just for fun, I'm gonna stop it real quick and refresh, and then we'll pick another star. 
we'll give it some time to get situated here. There we go. There's our deck. Okay, so sometimes you have to do that after it does the, uh, the initial recalibration. So that's kind of a good showing of, of what happens there. So as you can see, it's still sitting below two, so we'll take that last shot. So we'll go ahead and let that run, and then I'll speed up the video again for that last acquisition. And then what we'll do is we'll do some biases and some darts, and we'll finish up with some flats. All right. So we just finished our final image. So at this point, we're gonna go back to the auto run and you can click it here or you can click it here. And we'll reset the progress. And what this does, this doesn't remove any files or, or anything like that. It's just resetting the, the schedule. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it to the slowest we can set or the fastest excuse me the fastest we can set it and we'll take 10 of those and those will be our biases and then we'll take um, some darks so those will be three minutes again so we'll put those as darks and we'll repeat that 10 times why not now let's just do let's do five maybe so if you click on here you can edit it manually just delete it Darks. I don't think we need any more than that. And I'm gonna go ahead and stop it real quick and put on the um, the lens cover. All right, so I got the lens cap back on, and we're gonna go ahead and shoot. So we'll let it go through its process, and uh, I'll probably just end up stopping the video here and uh, show it after it's completed process so because it's going to take a while there's no sense to let this run through and show it taking all the images